everyone it's nicole welcome back to my channel relax cut glue if you're new here welcome i'm so happy to have you here with me today so today i'm going to take it easy and i'm going to play in my composition notebook my random glue book and let's see here let's find a page that i want to work in oh i want to just go right here Ooh, i love how flat it is Ooh. So I pulled out a bunch of images from my pre-cut squares and rectangles, and they're all kind of like lake-related, water, ocean, nature. Um, I don't know. I had just cut out a bunch of nature magazines, so I had some stuff. So that's what I'm going to glue today. All right, let's get started. So um, if you can't tell by my voice, I am very tired. We are on day three of having to clean our carpets in the middle of the night, 3 a.m. to be exact, the witching hour. Um, yeah, Zena, Zena has had diarrhea at night for three days now. I want to put this right here because that's where I know I want to glue it. It's so weird because she's totally fine. Oh, do I like this side better with the lake? Well, I'll just go with what I was doing. Anyways, yeah, she's totally fine, like, during the day and stuff, and playing and active and drinking and all kinds of stuff. And then for some reason, in the middle of the night, the last three nights, she's had diarrhea all over our bedroom floor. Thank goodness um, my husband's a clean freak, and we have a very nice carpet cleaner Still carpet cleaning every day at 3 a.m. Oh my gosh, my poor husband. I feel so bad for him. Um, yeah, so that's been great. <laughs> Not, I mean, I feel so bad for her. I don't know what's going on. So we're probably going to have to put her on the kind of a bland diet for the next few days and kind of see how she's doing. She seems fine, so... We're just keeping an eye on her. Poor thing. I wouldn't be surprised if she ate something she wasn't supposed to, like a animal byproduct. <laughs> um, she likes to roll around in it, so I wouldn't be surprised if she ate it too, so. I don't know. I have no clue. So, yeah, I'm exhausted. That's why I didn't end up filming yesterday. I could just barely function. Like, seriously, just doing nothing was hard for me yesterday. <laughs> uh, you know, it's so crazy because when things disturb your body and you have fibro, it's like it just sets everything off. You know what I mean? If you have fibro, I'm sure you understand. It's just insane. So... It's almost like I feel, for lack of a better term, and just to kind of put it into perspective, I feel hungover. That's how I feel, kind of, without an upset tummy, if that makes sense. Yeah, okay, so let's add, I thought like a little hot air balloon would be kind of fun, just, I don't know. Got a bird here, will these both fit right here? Oh, hey, what the hell, there they do. Oh wait, no they don't. Well, I mean, they kind of do. What else do I have? This is technically a beach, but whatever. I'm just going to go with it. Okay, let's do it. Let's glue this down. Most of these images are from free magazines I got um, at my local grocery store. There's almost always, any store that I go to, there's almost always a stand somewhere in, like, by guest services, customer service, or by the front door where there's like some free magazines for like your community. Like these happen to be wildlife magazines that were for like hunting and fishing and stuff. And then I just cut out all the animals and everything. Um, but yeah, always people ask me all the time where I get magazines, um, for free. And that's one of the places. And sometimes you find a lot of stuff in them and sometimes you don't, but for free, you got to look. Uh, so yeah, that's where I get them. Um, another place I get free magazines, I guess I might as well just talk about this because I get asked all the time, um, is Facebook, Mar Facebook Marketplace. 
um, you can click on their free magazines. There's almost always somebody that has some, or if you belong to like a Facebook group for the city you live in, you can ask people on there for free magazines. Um, ask your friends and family to save magazines when they're done with them instead of recycling them. Can they give them to you? Uh, my hairdresser, they save the salon or at the salon, they save the magazines for me. I just asked really nicely if they wouldn't mind and they were more than happy. And, you know, here's the thing. You always feel free to ask. And if they say no, they say no. But if they say yes, they say yes. Never hurts to ask, especially if you're being nice about it, not a, a poopy head. Um, and yeah, I'm sure people would save them for you. Um, I have uh, received magazines from the next door app as well. I've gone on there and found some in my community of people giving them away. Um, Craigslist, I mean, Craigslist freaks me out. So do, do what you will with that, but you can also look on Craigslist. Um, I also order free catalogs on websites. Um, you know, like there's, lots and lots of free catalogs you can get at the bottom of a website it'll often say you know request a free catalog and you can do that and they'll send them to you i love catalogs especially during the holiday time there's always really good images i just kind of want to tuck that down into the crack get in that crack there we go yeah, so those are some places that I get free magazines. My sister even looks for me, and she's my sister has found two of the best deals I've ever had. One of them was I got, and I haven't even looked at them yet, you guys. I wanted it to be like a blind reaction. Um, I she found this woman in her city, which we live in. We both live in Oregon, but she's like forty minutes, forty five minutes away from me, and she found a woman giving away a whole bunch of art magazines and you know those are expensive art magazines so she called me one day or she texted me and she's like hey these are free in my area do you want them i'm like hell yes i want those so i have bags of um art magazines to go through um and cut things out the lady was so nice. It was funny because <laughs> my sister's like, she would be right up your alley. The woman has fibromyalgia. She knits and <laughs> it's just really cute. This whole, my sister is telling me this whole story. Um, anyway, so she found me those. And then another time she had, I think it was a friend of hers. Um, if you have been with me from the beginning of my YouTube journey a couple years ago, I got these, I think I posted it on my Instagram, but I got like hundreds of free comic books. So, and I haven't used those yet. My sister's like, do you want these? I'm like, how do I turn down hundreds of free comic books? So I was like, hell yes, I want those. Um, and I gave, you know, Jackson and Bob the free reign to look through and see. Oh, I put this image out twice. I don't want that twice. Yeah, so definitely look around in your area for things. You will be surprised at um, what you can get for free. It's pretty insane. So definitely ask friends and family. I've received literally hundreds and hundreds of magazines for free from friends and family. I have another friend that I used to belong to, an artist co-op. And I sold my handcrafted goods. We had a store. And um, one of my friends from there is, she had tons of like home magazines and stuff. She used them for inspiration for years and she never gave them up. And then she finally did and she gave them to me. So I got hundreds of those. She's dropped them off at my house twice. And I'm talking boxes full of magazines. So that's super cool. Um, if I ever, when I do my, uh, what do you call it? Uh, craft retreat, I'll bring some magazines for people to, to cut out and stuff. That will be fun. So yeah, I have lots of magazines more than I can ever go through, but you know, some magazines don't have much in them. Some have a lot. So 
Do I want to cut off that? Oh no, this fits right here. That's super cute. Let's do that. Let's do that little doggy. It's overcast today, which I love. I've been looking forward to this all week. In fact, me and Bob and the boys have been talking about it. We're all excited. <laughs> the only downside is now we're really enjoying our backyard since we had some work done to it. So <laughs> like I ate dinner out there a couple nights this week. It was nice. Bob and I sat outside one night. He wasn't hungry yet. So I was eating and we were just out there talking together and that was nice. That was real nice. All right. I need some more images. I already used that one. I do have that one. I was thinking maybe just some plain colored ones. <clears throat> and then I can fill in with my fussy cuts. Those are in a different box. Oh, here's some more birds. Maybe I'll use those. Mm, let's see here. Okay, I don't want purple and blue. I don't need strawberries. Let's see, what else? I do have that. I have this elk, but... I also have that elk, so that kind of seems silly. Let's see what else we have here. So I store my images weird. <laughs> I just I I hate how I store. I mean that's a lie. I like how I store them, but so I put when I'm working in my random glue book, I have these two bins, and I keep um, all my square and rectangle bits in one. Oh, maybe I'll put a little coffee. There's a little puggy. And then I keep my fussy cuts in another. So if it's, you know, got four sides to it like this, they go in, it goes in this one. I could put an alligator, maybe. We'll see. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I got enough stuff. I really do like having this little coffee right here. Something different. Oh, did you hear my stomach? That was crazy. It was all... Which way does this go? Does it even matter? Just go this way. Oh, it goes this way. Okay, I can read the, the writing on it. Okay, moving on. So glad Jackson doesn't have school today. Oh, it's been so nice the last two days, him not having school. On Wednesday, when I went and picked him up, the students were protesting outside. Um, protesting against the violence that's been going on at the school and stuff. But that was interesting. All right, let's see. I don't know if I want to put an alligator. Or is this a crocodile? I've never understood the difference. I mean, I do know the difference, but I, I can't remember, I guess is the right word. Let me use my little trimmer. Love this little thing. People ask me all the time uh, where I got this. I got it on Amazon. I do have an Amazon storefront because I'm a Amazon affiliate. So um, if you go on there, I have everything linked up. I need to put the link in my description box. I always forget. But it, I literally have everything organized, like all my tools, all my machines, all my favorite glues, all that stuff, so that you guys can see. All right, let's put that there. Car sounded like it was snoring. Did you hear that? <laughs> it's like, Rrr. I don't know. All right, let's put this little dude down right here. Oh, he just fits so perfect. All right, I guess I didn't need those other ones. Or maybe I'll just do. I kind of like having some blue up here to kind of balance it out. Let's do that. So. I really like that part of the blue, so I want to keep that. All right, let's cut a little bit off of here. Ah, my finger's sticking to it. All right, maybe just a hair more. Just a hair, Nicole. I tend to cut too much every time. Yeah, let's go like that. Okay. 
We'll save that bit, but not the other one. Okay, let's glue this one down. In fact, I'm gonna get a new glue stick. That one's getting a little gummy at the end there. All right. Ah. I love composition notebooks. So fun. And I love random glue booking. This is my absolute favorite. There's just no pressure. I mean, technically there's kind of a theme going on with this one, um, but not really. I mean, you've got ocean and lake and nature and I don't know. Random, but not random, I guess. <laughs> Gotta be real careful that I don't rip the page. I should have my nap or my uh, washcloth out, but I don't. All right, we'll just leave it at that. Let's cut off around the edges. Oh, this is a cute page. Cute little doubles. Oh, I did this on camera. I did a video with this one. There we go. Cut this side. Oop, there's a little overhang. Nikki does not like overhang. Cut it off. All right, let's try this again. Go up here again. This was a little wet up there, Giggity. Let's see here. Oh no, I didn't push my duck all the way up to the edge. Oh well. Oh well, what do you do? Can't really tell anyways. Okay, so there. So let's put all of these back and then I'm gonna grab my fussy cut box. I really should spend a, a weekend fussy cutting magazine images because I'm very behind in that. All right, let's look. I mean, this is cute as is, but I do want to, especially up here, I need to add something, not a cupcake. What's this? Oh, I got a Black Panther. Let's see here. Oh my gosh, you guys, have do you follow them, Katya and uh, Trixie Mattel? They are so funny. They just roast each other constantly. Got a little hand with some toilet paper. <laughs> oh wait, what if I did this? Did you know? Oh my gosh, that's perfect, I'm doing that. I've had that did you know forever. Oh, I've got some binoculars, those are a little big though. Oh, fish, fish, I forgot. I cut all these fish out from a free magazine. <gasps> yes, I totally forgot. I found one of the free magazines, the wildlife ones had all like what 40 fish in the back of it and i cut them all out oh an iguana no definitely want more of the fish i have tons of them i cut them all out i fussy cut everything out and then i showed you guys everything that i got out of my free magazine all right let's see what else here's another fish i think maybe i'll just use the fish as my fussy cuts Here they are, tons of fish. How many more do I want? So far I have two. Maybe one down here, maybe three. Okay, I'll do three fish. Let's see if there's anything else. Ooh, I got an eagle, but that's way too big, but that would have looked really cool. Hmm, tortillas, <laughs> seahawk bear. Let's see, a rainbow, that's way too big. I need something a little bit smaller. All I see are these fish, like everywhere. All right, well, let's start with this. Oops. Got a burger. What's this? Oh, a hand. Okay. So let's add these four things. Put this up here. Well, now I want to know what this little crocodile is going to say. Did I know what? Okay. I like that. Man, glue booking is fun. So fun. Okay. 
I want to put this fish right there. I love the color of this fish. Very colorful. And it kind of bounces off the color of the duck there. So there we go. Okay, let's put this one down here. I just realized I picked all fish pointing to the left. <laughs> oh well. Ooh, a catfish. Putting the catfish right by the dog. <laughs> okay. Let's just go like that. Okay. Let's give it a little squishy poo. Oop. Got to be careful. Don't want to pull off its little whiskers, which I'm dangerously close to doing right now. There we go. Okay. Now I want to look for some words because I could just leave it like this and I might, but isn't this cute? Pug life. Crafty Irina got this for me. All right, let's look. I think it was Crafty Irina. Shoot. I hope I'm not wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. I like this baby shark is here, but I want to save that for my shark glue book. Delicious. Ooh, I don't want that. Let's see. Body and mind. No. Do what's delicious. A shot. Sleep deprived. Oh, wait. <laughs> Handled with care. I think I'm gonna put that there because there's a crocodile. So it's funny because there's a crocodile, but then it's cute because there's a little dog. I don't know. I'm just putting it. It's supposed to be totally random, but sometimes I get a little matchy matchy. Like this is just too cute. Handle with care. And I got glue all over the top of it. That was not smart. Okay, let's see what else we have. Belly laugh, experiences, well worth it takes a village to say create make a breakthrough I don't know why I like that because the kids like taking off let's put that up there all right what else do we have I need something that's not Ooh, show your colors. I like that. It's the little ducky duck, the little quack quack. Put that, show your colors. What else? <laughs> Hooking up with a random. <laughs> I should put that right there because of the two ducks. <laughs> I kind of want to. Don't judge me. <laughs> I just think that's so funny. I'm doing it. Come on, you gotta have some humor in life. Can't have your pat panties in a bunch. Hooked up with a random. I don't know why that's hilarious to me. Okay, let's see what else. It's probably sleep deprivation. It's making me cuckoo. Um, what's it say? Not, no, I don't want that. Okay taste buds. No. I want something that said like. All right. Let's get serious here. Let's just dig. Um, service with a smile. Make pizza. You know what? Maybe I'll just leave it at that. I think that's the universe saying, Nicole, just leave it. All right, my words. I had so many words, I had to put them in that container. All right, I think that's pretty stinking cute. I definitely could add more things. Like, I kind of want to add something down here, but I'm just going to leave it. I can always add more later if I want, but that's kind of fun. Gosh, that felt so good. This book, 
man, you guys, if you have not glued in a composition notebook, you should. I absolutely love it. Let's do a quick little flip and see where I'm at in this book. So it's feeling very heavy. That's where I'm at on that. This one cracks me up. I love this. One of my favorite ones. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I remember. I did that last time. I should add a mouth to her. Let's do that. Where are my, are my mouth pieces right here? Let's add a silly mouth to her. <laughs> you know what? What the hell? Going for it. I'm going in. It's happening. Things are getting crazy. Look, here I thought I was done gluing, and then I see this, and I realize she needs that. I'm insane. Okay, moving on. Um, nothing here, nothing here. So to ask, answer questions that I get asked every time I work in this glue book, I did not glue any pages together. I do not do that. But I do work sporadically throughout the book so that my book doesn't become dis uh doesn't become uh it'll buckle and it'll start to like not be even anymore when you close it because of you're adding so much paper in here so and I don't remove any pages either these are pretty plain and look when they're done like when you have they feel like almost like cardboard when you're when you've glued on both sides oh I love that page that was fun these were fun too I really liked how colorful these were there's today's page love it elephant what else do I have oh yeah I loved these this was fun too this one I tried to do like some pick just a bunch of red red and blue and white and black this one obviously i went with like pinks and purples and blues use some washi had a lot of fun with this page too this one was fun let's see what else we have this totally random this was fun i started mixing all these things together to make this, I mean, I guess that's what blue booking is. You guys, can you tell I'm sleep deprived? <laughs> oh, I love her. She's my favorite old lady. I love her so much. These, I still need to add stuff to. I just put back, backgrounds down. Oh, this was fun. A whole like beachy theme. And I actually use stickers. I don't usually do that in my glue books. I use washi, but not usually stickers. And that was fun. Is that it? Is that all I got? That's all I got. So yeah, that was my glue book for today. I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me. I'm sorry I'm a little bleh. Um, sleep deprivation does that to a girl. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. It's uh, going to be great for me. I know it because I'm telling myself that and I'm manifesting it. It's going to be an amazing, relaxing weekend. And we're making homemade soup and homemade chili. Can't get any better than that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button if you liked what you see and help me, help me get out in the algorithm. Um, it helps me out more than you know. And have a great weekend. Bye, guys.